Hi everyone, Mr Slytherin here. In this video I'd like to take a look at one of my local snakes, the Australian Lowland Copperhead. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I've referred to the lowland copperhead as my local snake. It's certainly not the only snake I encounter here on the western port side of the Mornington Peninsula. The eastern or mainland tiger snake is another common species. But I'd like to take a look at the lowland copperhead in particular, as it is the most frequently encountered species here in this particular part of the peninsula. Now the copperhead is usually associated with water, where it likes to feed on frogs in particular. However, they do eat other items of food, which include lizards and snakes, and even their own kind. Yes, they're cannibalistic and they'll simply eat whatever they can overpower. It's highly variable in colour, ranging from tan through to brick reds, right through to really dark chocolate brown. Interestingly, the lowland copperhead, and hence why I wanted to put this video together, is often mistaken for two other common Australian snakes in particular, the red belly black snake and the eastern brown snake. Now both of these species are rarely if ever found in this particular part of the Mornington Peninsula. The eastern brown snake certainly does occur in the Mornington Peninsula, but it has a very limited geographic range around Fingal, St Andrews and Cape Shank area, around the dry sand dune country. The red belly black snake, whilst a common snake, particularly in the eastern seaboard, is rarely found on the Mornington Peninsula. Now in terms of identification, it's not really that significant for a snake catcher or even for anybody at home that encounters a snake. The way we treat any snake is the same. You simply leave them alone. And if you're unsure of what you're dealing with, you simply call in somebody if it needs to be removed. A lot of people certainly get fixated on identification and that's understandable. And I think a lot of it's to do with the myths that have been perpetuated over a long period of time about Australian venomous snakes. Most of those myths are quite false. And the copperhead in particular is a very shy species of snake. In fact, there are no recorded fatalities in Australia from the lowland copperhead and bites are very, very rare. Now, Many of our venomous snakes react in the same way when they're encountered. They'll often inflate their bodies, rise up off the ground in an attempt to make themselves look bigger in the hope that what they perceive as a threat will simply go and leave them alone. Now what is actually true is no snake wants anything to do with humans. We humans are a large mammal and snakes want nothing to do with us. We're the threat to them in their eyes. So when you surprise a snake or you corner a snake, this is when you'll often see those defensive behaviours. And that's the cue to leave them alone. Now there's a lot of myths about whether snakes do or don't chase you, and the reality is snakes don't chase you and they won't chase you. If you simply leave a snake alone, walk away from it, it wants nothing to do with you. So the lowland copperhead is one of three species we find here in Australia. We've got the pygmy copperhead from around Kangaroo Island and other parts of South Australia. And we've also got the aptly named Highlands copperhead. But it's the lowland copperhead here, Australaps superbus, that we find most commonly around this particular part of the Mornington Peninsula. So we're really getting into the latter part of summer here in Southern Australia, and things are getting very, very dry, which helps to explain why people start to encounter snakes, particularly at this time of the year. Now, as things dry up and the water bodies dry up and their food sources disperse, they do seek alternate forms of food, such as mice, which is why at this time of the year in particular, snakes are often encountered around buildings and structures. Just releasing this little copperhead earlier today. There he is. Just getting its bearings. Pretty little snake. And come near service by posing for a uh, Spot in the limelight, which they don't often do. Won't last long once I move this bag though, I would think. And we'll be off. Happy days. So there you go. I hope I've been able to give you a little bit of an insight into what I regard as one of my local snakes. It's the beautiful Australian lowland copperhead. Take care and we'll see you in the next video.